Hello, I'm Edita Sitar from Laundry Basket Quilts and I'm pleased to introduce to you one of my new patterns, Sweet Ride. Come right over, let's go for that ride. I have a pattern that has all your directions in it and the templates as well as we created a stencil for you to draw your cars with it. It, this is very helpful because if you have to draw 35 cars, you want them to be nice and accurate. And remember, 35 cars is going to have, have 70 wheels on it. What I like to do is use layer cakes for this pattern. And you can do this pattern with one layer cakes. I, to, I did two, the jelly bean printed fabrics and the jelly bean batik layer cake for a nice variety and just flavor to that quilt. You're also going to need a background fabric and I selected, selected nine background fabrics from the jelly bean collection for it. There are four batiks and five printed fabrics in the background. Three one eight of a yard are perfect for the road, that low zigzag that the cars are driving on it. So I chose those for you guys. Now let's go ahead and make that quilt. In the pattern, you have directions of machine applique, fusible applique, or hand applique. For quick assembly, I chose the fusible applique for my quilt. I use a um, fusible webbing, and you can use one of your choice. Right here, I have a lightweight heat and bound. With my stencil, I drew my cars and my wheels. It's like this. I rough cut the shape, and I fused it to my fabrics. After I fused it to the fabric, I rough cut it and then go ahead and exact cut. Make nice long cuts. I like to use a nice sharp scissors for cutting. Okay, and look what I do. So let me finish this. I will go around it first. Just like this. And when I have to cut out something, I fold it in half, I clip it, and then I set my scissors in it to bring myself into the line to start cutting it out. It's so much fun to do it. You can enjoy your cutting. They're not too difficult shape. It's just fun and exciting. And now we have another wheel for this cute car. And when I cut my car, those are cut out too. Those are not applique over. I just cut everything out, set it together, and then we are ready for fusing it. And the more colorful you do, the more fun you bring to it. And when you quilt, make sure you quilt around the edges right here and then fi fill the background with a nice fun quilting and sometimes you can add a person into it if you would like with your quilting. My background I have prepared by cutting a rectangle 11 and a half inches by nine and a half inches. So remember when you're cutting your fabrics you will receive a uh, fat, uh, you will receive a third of a yard. Remember to cut it this way, your rectangles, because you can fit nine and a half inches four times or one cut of fabric. Once I have my background, I would then assemble my rod on it. In the patterns, I have two directions. You can cut a line and sew a one inch strips that would equal a half an inch finish for the road. Or you can choose a second technique and simply applique your road. And I did that, I applique mine. As soon as I'm finished with my road, it's time to put a car on it. So I place my car center it up on that background and um, when you're making your cars notice it that some go one direction some go the other directions so don't forget to draw your cars and if you need to reverse them look how fast I can reverse the car you just flip your template the other way so you have cars going in two different directions 
This block is wonderful to use not only for the center of a quilt, but I imagine this car driving all the way around the border of a fun children's quilt. Now we're gonna place the wheels. And if you lose a wheel, your car does not have to have two of the same color ones. So I have some extra from a different color and there it is. We miss yet bumpers in the front and in the back of the car. I have a little bumpers as an accent. And did you notice something? I cut 35 squares from the layer cake. So I made 35 cars and now I'm shuffling the colors so every car could have the same wheel and the same bumpers, but I chose not to do that. I like a little fun variety and a little bit more scrappy look by moving things around and having a little bit more accent. As soon as I lay my car, I would take my iron and press it. When the pressing is finished, it stabilizes it enough that I can take my threads from Aurofil. This is a jelly bean collection threads and they're specially designed to go with the fabrics right here. They're a beautiful color and I would choose the color that I wanted to stitch around. And you can do a zigzag blanket stitch, button stitch, your favorite stitch to accent and bring even more flavor to the quilt. If you do not want your stitch to show, use nylon invisible thread. I like to use a Macrotex needle to stitch off a fusible webbing appliques. It works very well. I finished that. With the brown thread, I will stitch around the road since I have applicated that as well. This thread is weight 50 and if you decide to do your cars by hand with a hand applique, it works great as well. Once you have your cars completed, they are ready to go on a road and I have placed them going one way and the other direction, up and down, creating a little chevron look uh, with the road and giving a little bit more whimsical look to it. If you look at the quilt, if you wanted to make it more for a boy, just using your blues and greens will bring that flavor to the quilt because I created for a 16 year old brand new driver, I made sure she got some pink cars with big flowers on it. I hope you would enjoy that sweet ride as much as I did. Thank you.